Now to the plate, oh, Matt Antonelli. We're back with another episode of Road to the Show. It's nice and early this morning. We're getting two feet of snow here in uh, Massachusetts and pretty much, I guess, everywhere in the Northeast, I believe, we're all gonna get crushed. So we're snowed in today. So I'm playing a game here. Maddie's playing something I'm over- I'm playing Roblox. Roblox, got it. He's playing Roblox right now. Um, and so let's, let's get into this game real quick. So one thing, um, first thing, let's go to our, not our player card. Well, let's go to our player card, sure, all right? If you wanna see greatness, there's greatness for you. Oh, I can't hit up and in against righties. It's actually a great scouting report right there. And I am a really good hitter down in the zone. All right, so there I am. Absolute specimen of a man, 6'1", 215. Um, let's go to the load, uh, loadout real quick, okay? So, guys, we're really, really close now. Look at this. We're, we're almost at the silver archetype. All I need to do, all I need to do is get three hits. And do I get there? Three hits. And I think, you know, then if I get some plate appearances, but I think I only need three hits. I think that I think, I think I just need three more reward, reward points. I don't know. I can't count. So we've got that. Um, let's see real quick here. Now, one thing I just noticed all this stuff I'm wearing, like these eyeglasses are silver, compression sleeve is silver, like ritual item, like, I don't even have a wrist guard on. I mean, this is unacceptable. Silver, like everything. Okay, I've got a gold. I've got a gold bat. I switched to a blue bat. It's kind of cool. I got a gold. I mean, I've got a, a diamond back grip and a diamond bat. I got diamond socks, so that's good. I got diamond cleats. Okay, we're getting better. Yeah, you see, like we need some, I need more gold stuff. I need gold glasses, compression sleeve, uh, wrist guard. You know, I need some of that stuff real quick. So if we go to the market real quick, is this where we buy stuff, equipment? What did we say we needed? We needed wrist a- bar, Wrist guard. Um, wrist guard? Mm -hmm. Okay, so like if I go over here, not, no, I don't care. If I go to like batting gloves, we need two, right? Like diamond. All right, so I want something that gives me, what does this give me? Five contact, four power? No, six contact, five, yeah. A seven contact? No, I think I want like like six contact, five. Yeah, one of these two. Jordans. Yeah, I want these Jordans right here. Buy, sell options. I want to buy it. Buy. Yeah, I'm just going to buy it right now. Good, thanks. So now we've got the batting gloves. So that'll make us better. Um, what else did we need, Maddie? Uh, wrist guards. Wrist guards. Thank you for saying that in such a mean voice. Uh, wrist guards. I wasn't saying that. Well, it sounded like it. 15,000 for this wrist guard? I mean, I don't care. Video game match rich, he can buy it. All right, so we got a wrist guard. Um, and what else What else were we looking for? We're looking for um, cleats, no. Fielding glove? There was something else. Diamond sunglasses. Sunglasses, sunglasses, good job, dude. He's way smarter than me. All right, okay, we can go with, I think we probably want to go with these, these ones right here, probably. Those are some sick Oakleys right there. Oh my God, I, I, need, I need a little bit of money. I only have, I need another $100. Um, where, where do I go to, to sell my cards? I, I, uh... The same thing you were in. No, my inventory, Cedric Mullins, I can't sell them. Uh, these guys all stink. They're not gonna make me any money. I can't, they wouldn't let me sell Judge to them in my lineup real quick. I tried to sell a bunch of guys. Jeez, everyone's in no sell. Everyone's in no sell. You, who are you? Oh, Benintendi, how much are they gonna, oh, a <laughs> hundred bucks, dude? That's all you're gonna bring to the table for me here? I can sell you twice though, oh, I can tell you, how many do I have of you? Oh, sorry. Um, I forget how much money I needed now. 100 bucks? Should I be- You got 150. 150. You have enough. I do? 
Well, yeah. let's just let's just sell Garcia just in case. Okay. I think I have enough now, right? Yeah, it was fifteen thousand something something. All right, thank you. Um, fifteen thousand five hundred. What were we trying to get again? Sunglasses. Sunglasses. <laughs> Sunglasses. Eyewear. There we go. Buy them, baby. Oh, man. 110. 110 bucks. I went from rich video game mat to poor video game mat in about a half a it second. It went from $39,000 to $110. <laughs> you know what? Look good, play good, and sometimes costs a little bit of money to look good. How do I put it on now? Where do I go? Appearance? No. Yeah. Uh, no, loadout, right? Loadout. There we go. Okay. Oh, baby. I got my, di oh, I got my diamond glasses on. Uh, my wrist guard. Oh, yeah. It's equipped, I think. Is it equipped? Yeah, it says equipped. Come on, Matt. Read. Batting gloves. Equipped. All right, we are freaking locked and loaded. Let's activate that. I don't. I guess I don't know. Do I hit activate? I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, guys, we are legit right now. We just got so much better right there. All right, yeah. Look at that blue bat right there. That's sick. It is. All right, let's play the game, huh? Now the good news is, oh, we're going. Oh, we're gonna go to the practice field? No, we don't work on fielding. I refuse to work on it. Can we get some strength training for some power? Why does it say it's not putting it up at all? Reaction and durability? No. Speed and durability. What is speed and durability? Plate discipline. Yeah, I definitely need some of that. Give me some plate discipline. Um, but we're not, yeah, we're gonna skip that. Matt's gonna instead just go sit down and look at his phone. He's probably using one of those. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, I'm. Go oh God, Charlie Brewer, what you've been missing some opportunities driving runs late. No need to panic. Let's just look to right the ship. Oh yeah, you told me this last episode, and I told you to beat it, geek. And why are you back, Charlie? The last thing you want to tell me is how horrible I'm doing. But don't panic. But just get your, you know what, right? Okay, get out of here. Okay, so the good news is there's no sun today because literally it's a blizzard outside right now. So there's no glare on the TV. So if I don't hit today, it's my fault. There's no one's fault but mine. I haven't played in a while. I don't know if you guys have seen. We're opening up a new facility, our own Anthony Baseball facility. So we're trying to get that thing going. So... Um, we're moving in the right direction, but you should watch the videos because I'm putting up updates. I'm doing, um, not Jimmy, Jimmy, who cares? I don't know my teammates, Jimmy, Bobby, Billy, they all the same. I don't know any of them. I don't care about any of them. Um, so <laughs> back to the story, we're trying to open up our own anti baseball facility. So go and watch the, uh, the progress that we're making. I'm putting up videos every day. I'm filming and going to take you through. Kind of how it works. I'm on a five game hitting streak, but I'm hitting 238. I thought it'd be a pretty cool series to try to document and follow the progress, so wish us luck. Hey, this guy's dialed in right now. Two strikeouts and still working ahead. Wow, he struck out the first two guys. Stay hot. I'm hitting 238, dude. It might be hot for you, not for me, though. Whoa! The old brush back pitch. I didn't even flinch. Two in a row! He's, I think so. I probably asked him, how's his wife and my kids? Two, two. This guy's nasty, guys. Oh, I hope. 
Whoa, my PCI yeah, went way up and then... No, it was a curveball. Yeah. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Oh, I smashed that? Nah, I just missed that. Right to him. Good hustle, though, Matt. Inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the show. Still scoreless. It's one inning, Matt. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Blake Rutherford. Always go back. I always played in the grass. I told you guys that. See? See, I played in the grass, and I still couldn't get it. I'm so slow. I have no reaction time. Or reaction ability. I have no agility, no lateral quickness. I'm a Mack truck, okay? I'm not like some little freaking moped. I'm a Mack truck. It takes a lot to get me going. You know, but once I get going, look out. I'm huge. I wish I could make this game a more of like a rated R video game because... <laughs> I just feel like I'd have some, I think it, I don't know, I don't know. Next, it'll be Gunnar Henderson, he drew a base on balls his first time up. No, I'm not trying to knock anybody's head off. Bunt! Of course. And we're going to... What happened? Safe? Was he safe? What what just happened? Did he throw it? He pump fake it? He did a little light there, bro. What what is your name? Duenas? How do I zoom in? I forget. Duenas. What is he who's he throwing to? Uh apparently no one. Appar he pump he pump fakes it, so he pump fakes it here. And then he, did he tag him? Is that, I don't know, is that a tag? No. He misses, he misses him. He misses him. And this guy says, I'm the first base umpire, but I refuse to do my job. I'm not going to make a call. I'm just going to stand here. What's the call? And then, after all that, he says, the guy's passed first a minute and a half ago, so let me flip it. And this guy says, good job. No, I mean, you literally punch him in the face right here if he did that to you. But can we talk real quick about bunt defense, please? This guy over here says safe. Why are you saying safe? There's not even a play at second. Why is he saying safe? Or is he calling time? I don't know what's going on. I have no idea what's going on. But let's go back to bunt defense real quick. Okay, first of all, there's one out. There's one out. Is this the pitcher hitting? Like, this isn't the pitcher hitting, is it? Henderson? No, it's not the pitcher hitting. We're in the American League. There's freaking... I mean, I don't even know the rules of baseball anymore because I don't, we don't even have baseball anymore. But listen, it's a man on first, okay? You square this early. First of all, you're never going to bump when a man on first and one out. What are we doing? We're moving him into scoring position to with two outs. Like we're not. It's stupid. Okay, you're lowering your run expectancy by quite quite a lot. That's the first thing. The second thing is, dude, you see him square, start creeping in. What do you, you have no responsibility. There's no man on third. You start creeping, 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 like a lot more than that aggressively. At this point, I'm flying. I'm like running, okay? This guy can't vacate because he's holding, okay? So you can shuffle here. Boom, the ball's bunted, okay? Rule number one, high school baseball starts in like another month and a half. Rule number one, my first meeting, I say, if they bunt, Get an out. That's it. Like, if the other team wants to bunt every time and give us outs, we'll take them every time. That's all I care. Just get it out. So pick the ball up, Duenez. Pick it up and tag the man. Just tag him right here, okay? Matt's got to be there. Matt's got to see. I see, you know, if I see this square, I'm starting to creep towards first, which I guess I, I was controlling the guy, so probably I should have done that. Um, oh, wait, no. They don't let you move after a minute, okay? So I couldn't have. But right here, you're, you got to go to first. Because if he bunts it to first and this guy comes and gets the ball, he needs to flip it to somebody. It's just all around terrible baseball. Just pick up the ball and tag the man. Just tag the man. You don't need a pump throw. So. There's no pump throw. There's no, there's no even thought of going to second base right there. 
I mean, unless I shouldn't say that. If you absolutely have him, fine. Go to second. But he didn't have him. He's running. Of course. Why would we want to go cover? You know what else is impossible to throw him out, Dan? When no one covers second. That's when it's real impossible. Like, literally, if I'm the general manager, I'm, I just fired my manager. I fired everyone on the staff. Everyone on the staff for the way we're playing baseball right now. I would. You would fire everyone. The right someone. The offense better get it going What's right here because they the certainly game? can tell from their dugout. This guy Duarez, the first baseman? Yeah. Oh my God. I would have released him on the spot. I would have said, go to my office right now. You're released. Mid, mid game. I would have fired him the second after this. I would have said, come to my office. Exactly. Exactly. I think I'm teaching him well. 3 0. We're just going to take this pitch. All right, I'm just trying to get on base here. Oh my God! I didn't even have to move the PCI. That would have been hit a mile. Doesn't matter. He still hit a rocket shot. Round it hard, Matt. Round it hard, Matt. There's no rule that says you got to stop on the base, guys. Round that base hard. Put some pressure on him. Let's stop on first base. I'm stealing. Six games. Yes, I am. You're, you're a big slow guy. Hey, watch your mouth. See that speed right there? That was like a Mack truck going downhill. <laughs> huh. That too. <laughs> what, spaghetti and meatballs? Do you like that analogy better? Or is that a better analogy for you? Or something like that. I don't know. From Big Daddy. <laughs> so here is so Lucas Airsick. Is it a better analogy for you? Yeah, that's, I, think that's, I think that's the exact line. I've seen Big Daddy about 452,000 times, so I should probably know that. I mean, yeah, we're in America. Runner! I'm not covering, though. Oh, my God! I have no range. I actually accidentally forgot to see which runner, which batter was up. Guys, let me show you. This will take five seconds, okay? But real quick. See, this is this is a mental mistake. Mental mistake on my part. I'm talking about spaghetti and meatballs. Look at I didn't realize, like, I'm not paying attention, and I have PSD or whatever, uh, PTSD. I see a lefty up. See, I shouldn't be covering with a lefty up. No, like the shortstop should be covering. So I accidentally took these two steps here. See my guy? I accidentally took a step and now I'm flat footed and now I get a bad jump over here, okay? And now I miss the ball. Baseball's a game of inches. That might be a foot, but still, it's a game of 12 inches. That's just bad mental play on my part. I have to pay attention. First pitch on its way. Try to check it in its own one. Oh. Good check right there. See, I'm yes, yes, no, man. I'm ready to rock, but then I realize that ball's on the black, and I'm not swinging at it. It's a strike. It's fine. No! That ball was... I was going to say, I'd rather be 0-1 than 0-4-1. I actually have a video on that. You don't have to swing at that ball. It's a strike, so what? I'm 0-1. I'd rather be that than 0-4-1 by chasing a ball that's, you know, on the black, and I'm not looking for it. But I tried to say it instead of pay attention and just hit the ball. He's going to steal. He's going to steal. Told you. Told you. Told you. I told you. This game's so predictable. Thanks, Matt. Don't go anywhere. Who's watching this game? It's a triple-A game. We're not even on television. I got it. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. I got it. 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 See, I called that way too early. Never call it. Wait for it to get to its apex. Let the ball get up in the air before you call it. Go get the ball. But I called it right when it was hit. Big mistake. At yard. Like right now, everyone's like, I got it. And then, and then no one goes and gets it. Usually, actually, the ball goes up and no one says a word at the younger levels. 
struck out swinging. And the ball drops, and then you hear someone from the stands yell, Somebody call it! He's going to steal again. I hate that stuff. I got it now, guys. So they go down without a whip. You know, it's an interesting phenomenon. I don't know if it's a phenomenon. When parents yell stuff from the stands, right? You know, like that example right there. Is he going to steal again? He's going to steal again. Yes, he is. I have the advanced scouting report, guys. I know this. So, I never understood that. Not only at, like, Little League games and stuff, like when it's your kid, but even at, like, a Patriots game or, like, a professional game, right? Like... So let's talk about Little League. Let's just hit first, actually. Let me shut up and hit, and then we'll talk about it. I'm swinging way too... Like, it's not a good pitch to swing at. I mean, it is. It is a good swing to pitch at, and swing at. But not for me. I don't... I don't hit well on the inside pitches in this game. So... You know, like when you're a parent, you're at a kid's game, right? And like the ball drops and you hear somebody yell like, somebody call it from the stands, right? Like, I don't even understand how that comes out of your mouth. Like, I would never, like when I'm watching Maddie ever in my life, ever, 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 am I going to watch a game and have a ball drop and hear somebody and yell, somebody call it. Like, I'm never going to do that. Now, I, I might turn to Lara and be like, I'll, I'd use a, probably a couple of bad words I can't use on here. And I would explain to her, like, what just happened. Because um, she'd probably say, why did they drop that ball? No, she'd probably know why. But I'm never going to yell it out to the kids. Like, that's why they have a coach, right? Like, that's why we, we signed up on this team, so that the coach can tell them. I just don't know. It would never come out of my mouth. Like, I, I could never, ever. Somebody call it! I couldn't do it. Not from the stand. It's the same thing at like a pro game or any game, right? Like, I don't know. I just, especially at a pro game, no one can hear you. Like, what are you yelling at? No one can hear you. Now the first pitch. Matt Antonelli comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. Thank you. Dynamite drop in that is. Whoa! Pitch out. What was that? That was a pitch out. <laughs> this one's gonna be grooved though. I'm gonna crush this ball. I'm not hot. They're afraid. Now, now, last time I took 3-0 right down the middle. I'm, if this time, if that ball's thrown and I'll have to move the PCI, I'm crushing it. Okay? Only if I don't have to move the PCI. Barkley, he's afraid. Afraid of my blue back. First and second. All you coaches out there, we don't hold the man. First and second, okay? I know this is going to happen 4,000 times this summer. You would think another team coach would pick up on it when... If we ever have a game, I coach our 11-year-old team, if we ever have a game where it's first and second and our first baseman holds the runner on, and like, I say, hey, what are you doing? Get off the bag, we never hold the runner first and second. And then when they, when they come into the dugout, I say, we never, ever, 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 I say ever 4,000 times, hold the runner on first when men are first and second. You understand? They say, yes, coach. And they don't do it again, hopefully. You would think the other coach would hear that and say, hmm, maybe when we go on defense, we shouldn't do that. But what do you know? The next inning, if we have first and second, guess what their first baseman's doing? Holding the runner on. I told you guys the story. If you saw my favorite, my favorite game ever last year. This is amazing. This is amazing. Like, and I'm just going to be honest now. All right, this might be mean. I'm sorry. If you're this coach, I'm sorry. But hold on. Oh, whoa. 
That's a pretty good white bottom slider right there. I didn't see that thing. Because they certainly can tell from their dugout, this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. See, guys, I'm controlling the zone now. Now I'm making him come to me. Oh, man, that slider. That's filthy. Into the windup and the pitch. That ball shot like a rocket shot. That's just two. Stay there, Matt. There you go. Coast in. Oh, it got away from him. Good little golf clap there, Matt. Boy, after that base knock right there, D-Roll, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Oh, boy, I got a hitting streak going. So. What are we doing? Get out! Guys, see, I don't know the button to do this, but I stole there, and I didn't want to steal because he did a slide step, and I tried to stop, but it took, he's a Mack truck. It took him 15 years to stop, and by the time he stopped, they hit the ball, and then I'm out. Anyway, so what I was going to say is, I told you guys this story before, but not everyone watches every episode. Shame on you. Oh, no! I forgot to check how many outs there were. I had to check real quick when I was trying to fill the ball. So... We're playing a game, and I can't tell you again. I got a hit. Antonelli, he doubled his last time up. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think... I got that. I got it. I got it. I got it. No, I didn't get it. I was a little early on it. Was I early? I might have been early on it. That was a tough play, so let's... That was a tough play. It's called a routine fly ball, Matt. Ball. Oh, this guy's slider's doo doo. I mean, that was a backup slider right there, but it still looks doo doo. It's hard. It's 88, but. Yeah, that's a doo doo slider. He's lucky that ball was in. If that ball's over the middle plate, I'm hammering it. Matt, it wouldn't have mattered if he dug it out. He's safe anyway. It's a pickoff attempt. Ow. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta crush that slider. Okay, go ahead. Thank you for the warning and the heads up. No, not in there. Gosh darn it. Matty told me he had a poop, like it was some big important announcement, and he's gonna. So now to the oh, God. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. Oh, they're pitching out. Uh, why didn't I run there? Oh, the manager's saying the steal. Sorry, guys. I'm I'm so confused right now what's going on i have freaking i'm being told that maddie has to poop um um go no shot all right so let me tell you this real quick so we're playing this team right and we won so many games i mean it's it's kind of unfair 11 you like you know i'm coaching these 11 you guys like they're in the big leagues not like i'm being mean to them i'm just like you know, giving them probably a little bit more of an advanced strategy than the typical 11-year-old team. And, you know, the teams we're playing, I got it. Like, some of them aren't going to be coached that great. But we're playing this one team. Sorry again if you're this team. But we have bases loaded. I'm not staying right there. I'll do what I want. We have the bases loaded, and they have the third baseman straddling the bag, holding the third guy at third. They have the second baseman straddling second, holding the runner at second. They have the first baseman holding the runner at first. So they only have one defender actually in the field of play. <laughs> and I'm looking out there, and I like stared out there for about, I don't know, the, the amount of time that they were doing this, which was a lot. And I said, I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. Literally, like in the, in the million of baseball games I've watched in my life. I mean, 
Of course I've never seen this before. I had to call and tell everyone. I had to call, I told everyone. And I was like, you can't, like, you can't expect to beat us if you're going to do that. You can't, like, if I was the pitcher, I'd turn, I'd, I'd say, I'd look in the dugout, I'd say, coach, you're fired. And that's why, that, at that point, maybe if I'm in the stands, I'm like, hey, coach, like, don't, don't quit your day job. Like, that's, that's just bad. So, I'm sorry if that's you again. Um, but I, I was sitting there, I'm like, this is travel baseball. Like, people are paying money for this instruction, right? Like, this is, you know, pay a couple thousands of dollars for this. Like, how are we doing this? I, just, I don't know. I just couldn't understand it, so. I was quite perplexed. Here's my last at bat of the game, guys. Let's make it. Let's make it solid. It's a long episode. Oh my lordy! It's so slow. 82. I went from 88, 89 slider to 82. It's a bit of homer. Maddie's on the toilet. <laughs> I don't know if you just hear me. He's on the toilet and he just yelled, "Hit a homer!" Why don't you just worry about yourself in there? Why don't you just worry about yourself? Because I just went chopping in the gap, baby. No, I didn't. The fly ball. Oh, sit down. Guys, I stink. I got to play this game way more. I can't hit anymore. Are you serious in there? Did you hear that one? He just gave me a... All right, guys. Solid... Not not a solid day at all, but it's a snowstorm. I'm gonna go do something. I got I got a lot of work to do actually. I gotta make a lot do a lot of emails and all that stuff. So so much fun, so much fun. If you've got hitters that you're looking to improve before the start of next season, this is essential for you. Matt Antonelli here, former major league player, first round pick, and college coach. With this course, we're gonna show you exactly step by step how to generate power, develop bat speed, and enhance swing mechanics. Regardless of your hitter's age, this course is going to deliver advanced hitting techniques that will allow any hitter to get better and make an impact at the plate this spring. We have a full catalog of training content that you can access from anywhere at any time. This course is perfect for players, parents, coaches, instructors, and more. It offers a comprehensive package of drills and techniques that you can directly implement. Our course has helped hitters all over the country at different competition levels, and the feedback that we've received has been outstanding. The work you put in now will drive your success at the plate this spring. Get the essential knowledge that you need to take your game to the next level.